Pisces, good morning. How you doing? So don't forget you can watch this as a Life Path 3 or a Piscean or you can cross-watch and do whatever you like. Somebody could be watching you, Pisces, or you're keeping a close eye on someone. Could be a lion, maybe a Leo or a Life Path 8 or Aquarius keeping a close eye on you. Gemini seem to have this quite a lot as well, having an eye on someone. Um, so I don't know. Or a lion. I keep hearing lion. Someone could be a Life Path 2 and they could be lying about something, about keeping an eye on someone and I'm having to keep it a secret. Okay, about the person that I'm keeping an eye on. I don't know if this is in a good way or a bad way. I'm definitely picking up like twos, okay, of like someone that needs to choose between the present and the future. The present and I'm not picking up past, kind of picking up this energy of I need to choose between the past, uh, well, it could be the past, the present and the future, the present and the future. Some of you, there could be this multiple choice type sort of option of maybe your past. Uh, or being single and then there could be someone else that's with someone and then there's this energy of I'm keeping an eye on you because I have to keep it secret because I'm with someone and I want to be with you but I can't be with you and I want to be with them and you and yeah there seems to be this sort of energy here <laughs> that I'm kind of getting confused and mixed up with who's watching who hmm I don't know. It's kind of like people that are kind of like trying to make a choice or a decision here between past, presence, and future. Let's see. I'm definitely picking up on a lot of choice of like seven energies, seven of cups. Anyway, so I've got another new deck. We've got two new decks here, Pisces. These are going to help me determine what's going on in your reading because they're all numerology-based. So let's see. Pisces, this is... Um, copyrighted and they're going to be made by that printer that's in the background there um, and then they were either going to be used by me or I might start selling them I'm not sure um, Pisces so we've got I am not leaving you uh, I'm not letting you go that easily I just made this one this morning Four. so I might have Scorpio or Aries so somebody might be struggling to get out of a connection that they're in because the person I don't know, they're not going to give up on this person just so easily, okay, meaning that I might be considering giving you another chance. But if they're in that four energy of maybe blocking or feeling like they need to kind of protect themselves from this person and they're slightly, you know, closed off to the situation that they are in, then there's this energy of not letting somebody new into your energy, or their energy, right? Now, if this is you, okay, and you've got a person that um, wants to try and get back with you, and you're kind of like, hold on a minute, Jose, not so quickly, right? I am not just going to be jumping straight back into a Jack Frost, right? But I'm not, or Jackie, or Julian, or Cock Frost, but I am not just going to jump straight back into a commitment with you because you're looking at Four of Pentacles energy here. Now, somebody here could be married if they're in a four energy and they're struggling to get out of a marriage or a commitment if they're in the four of wands because the person's not letting them go so easily, okay? So four would also represent money and things being involved as well, of like the four of pentacles and needing to save and have money and they they keep fighting. No, I wouldn't say fighting. I would say that they're... If this isn't you, okay, because trust me, a, a, an energy of me reading is going to be a mirror of you and them, okay, alchemy, Natalie. But because of this four, there could be things like money that is involved within this of needing to save money, not letting you go, meaning that I am not arguing with you, but I am, we're trying to work it out. We're trying to work it out between each other. And because we're trying to work it out, I'm kind of going to stay where I am and see what happens, right? That kind of seems to be the vibe of this person or the name Violet or anybody that's got V or Steve, Steve, let's see, Pisces. 
So we've got, if you only knew how much I think about you. Okay, so you've got this energy of like X is impossible new energy here. Because I believe that one of these people here could well be married within a four of wands. And that person's not letting them go so easily. And this is, you don't know how much I think about you, right? So if you only knew how much I think about you, but there's two, there's two, sorry, there's two stories here. This is where the channel messages were coming into play. If somebody here is already in a four of wands and they're committed and they're married, that person that they're with, they're not letting each other go. Okay. This is making one of you think about the other person a lot more because you can't be with the person. So I don't know if they're thinking about you as much because their energy is going to be more guarded and protected and blocking out new connections to maybe try and save this four energy here. So they're confused. If you are single, then this is making you think about this person a lot of what might be going on with their connection, with their marriage, with their commitment. If you have an ex that is wanting to get back with you, they are thinking about you a hell of a lot, okay? But one of you is more than likely not up for the connection to let this person back in, but they are thinking about you a hell of a lot. So if a person is thinking about you a hell of a lot, they're more than likely going to be communicating with you a lot. If it's coming from the person that is, say, i.e. married in a four of wands, then that person is more than likely not communicating because they're trying to also work it out with the person that they are with because they could be stopping them in any kind of way, which means reconciliation, not arguing, not really getting on, biding my time, right? Don't forget I read in numerology. So these numbers that are on my cards are going to represent a lot of messages, okay? That's what I like about them because they're showing me the mirrored energy with the other cards that are representing if you only knew how much I think about you, right? Now, if you're single and you're on your own and you're thinking about someone new completely and they are single, then this person's pretty much just not letting you in to their life so quick, so easily, okay? So let's see. Pisces, seeing you with her hurts me, okay? So it could be a him or a her. OK, but seeing you with her hurts me. So some, so someone here is in a commitment, in a relationship already, whether it be a him or a her. OK, um, I should have kind of put that, but I think I put both of those cards in this one. So I'm not letting you go that easily. If you only knew how much I thought about you, but seeing you with him or her hurts me. Hmm. Let's see. So that's self-explanatory. Or knowing that you are with this person. So let's see. Pisces. Save your money just in case. Four. Okay. So you got an eight. Could be something to do with around an Aquarian or a Leo because you got two fours. Okay. Two fours. So this might be where somebody is in a four of wands. They're committed. They're married already. And because they are... They're needing to save money in order to be able to get out of the circumstance that they're in. If they're not, then this is either a message for you or that person, right? Don't forget these are soul group readings. They're not just relating to you. It's relating to the person that you and you're connected to. Okay. So save your money just in case somebody's married and they need a quick way out, right? Just in case something goes wrong. So let's see. Pisces. Um, I can't make up my mind, too. You see? You've kind of got this energy of someone that is with somebody and somebody here wants to be with that person, but they can't because their energy is also guarded and protected and blocked to be open for something new because they're already in something. So they can't make up their mind what they want to do. Now, it could be because of money, the card that is right next to this one. 
There could be money issues. There could be things that are going on where, like, you know, if this person, say, is married and they need to get out of that and they haven't got the money in order to do so, they're going to be stranded alone and on their own. So because they are, it's been a while, but they've been stranded or will be stranded on their own with no job and no money and no way out. So their advice is to save your money just in case. But I will say this, if you guys ever get married or anybody ever gets married, always make sure that you have got separate bank accounts and separate money and that you don't incorporate it all together. Because if anybody ever does need a way out, money is the only way out, okay? If you don't have any, it takes a hell of a lot more time, right? So I can't make up my mind of what to do. So with these cards at the moment, you have got eight, nine, ten, okay? Two fours and a two. So you've got this energy of one, Pisces, okay, which means that I am trying to manifest something going on in my life with this person, but I can't because they're with somebody, but I think about them all the time because I want to actually be with them. But because of the energy of one, it means ten of cups and ten of swords, basically, and the wheel of fortune. So it means that somebody could be in a very difficult, awkward spot of not knowing what to do financially because of the energy of Capricorn that would be the Wheel of Fortune, one. Okay, needing to save money, needing luck in order to be able to take a chance and a risk on something new. But what would I lose and what am I prepared to gain? The Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> okay, so basically what this person here is looking at is what am I prepared to give up and lose karmically? Because karmically will take things from you and you'll be on your own. Okay. So what am I prepared to give up and lose financially with money, a house and a home and a job and a mortgage and all of that inside of an energy that is more of a 10 of cups and a 10 of swords, where it begins, it ends, it begins and it ends. And they're going through a cycle of that with Michael, Melissa, Maria, Michael Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, but I'm going through that constantly with this person. And because of that, now I don't know whether it's best to be unhappy or happy with someone, like feelings-wise, right? Because when you look at energy, it's going to be like money is more of a concern of worry and stress, ten of swords. Happiness is just a thing of a feeling. But is the feeling strong enough for me to give up my safety and security to be unhappy and maybe make it work than to go towards something that is more emotionally fulfilling. Okay. So that's kind of what we've got at the moment. So let's go down on the table. Let's give you one of these cards. This is the other deck. The Pisces. Marriage. There you go. Five and two. So you've got um, five, six, seven, and then your one, which is an eight. So Aquarius, maybe Leo energy somewhere. Um, Life power five, Sag Taurus, two Libra energy as well. Choice. What do I do? The Hierophant, five. Sagittarius, possible blocking, fives and fours. Okay. So it re relate to like, I'm not letting you go because we're married, but that gives them a nine which can relate to the nine of wands, the nine of swords, stressing, worrying, lack of sleep, okay? Um, blaming can also be that energy here because the energy of a five and a four being on the opposite energy, okay, and just can't seem to get on the right page. Um, and a two of choice. I can't make up my mind because why? Five, I'm married. And two, I can't make up my choice. Five, six, seven. I can't choose whether to leave this person, seven of swords, the chariot. Someone may be at a distance. I can't make up my mind whether to leave my marriage, okay, because they're not letting me go that easily. I may need to save money, okay. I'm connected to you, but we're more than likely not talking or discussing. So it's just more of a feeling. I can't make up my mind whether to stay or go. Seven of Swords, the Chariot. Nine. Okay, can't make up my mind. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine of Swords. Stressing, worrying. Okay. Karmic illness. 
So, like I said, some of you, this could be a placebo that you've been following for too long and not communicating with this person in order to connect with a good energy. And that's made you ill by trying to search that many, trying to find out what's going on and you haven't had an answer, okay? Don't forget a no, like no answer from a person is an answer. If you don't get an answer from someone for so long, that is a no answer. Like if you haven't heard from someone in six months, 12 months, a year, two years, if you haven't heard that, that is a no. That is a no. That means that you have to move on. Okay, because none of you are communicating or speaking and haven't done. So that relates to more of a karmic illness. Now, like I said, a person could be within this six energy, Capricorn, Gemini, okay, sleepless nights, can't make up a decision two and four. So your four is there. I am not letting go that easy, karmic illness. So they're stuck within the wheel of fortune, okay, karma, so Saturn, Six, can't move forward and can't move out away from something that could be potentially dangerous and is making me ill because of the, the toxicity of that connection being of the devil. The nine is relating to more sleepless nights and worrying and I don't know what I'm going to do because two, I can't make up my mind because I'm marriage and I can't make up my mind. Two and two, right? Four is obviously relating to this, I'm not letting you go. So they're stuck in something that is karmic that is possibly making this person stress and worry and not know what to do, okay, because they're married, okay? So it's not easy on them, or you, if that's you that's married, okay? So let's start to do your actual tarot, and this is where we add up the numbers that come from here to these, okay? But don't forget, this is copyrighted, so do not copy my method. <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so I am not letting you go that easy. But you are going to have to, if you're new, and you have got no idea how I relate to numerology, then this is more to do with, like I said, the matrix of numbers, numerology, being able to read through the patterns of behavior. Okay. Where the number relates to the card and the meaning. So I am not letting you go that easy. Number four. So the Empress, a Piscean, and the Devil, six, is in this one, Karmic Illness, Meg Ryan, maybe a third-party situation. I'm not letting you go that easy because I want to be with you. But this could well be you. Someone's not letting you go, okay? Could be an ex that is not prepared to drop it and let you go that easily, okay? <clears throat> Some of you could have, like, a Gemini, Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio and Aries all within your chart here, okay? Now, some of you might be watching and you're like, I'm not going to let you go that easy, okay? Oh, Hugo, Huey, Lewis, Lewis, Linda. Um, but, you see, you're caught between this trap. This person could also have this in their chart that is married, like Scorpio, Aries, Pisces, like path three, four, six, Gemini and Capricorn. So if you only knew how much I think about you, five, five, marriage, metaphysical energy, spiritual divine intervention of a third energy of being, trying to go through healing with this connection that you've got with this person don't forget, you can't heal properly on your own. You need a battery and a charger in order to charge one's energy with an energy, okay? When you're on your own, you're just grieving. When you're stuck in a karmic situation, you're karmically ill, okay? So, five, here, married. But if you only knew how much I think about you. So what's temperance here for? that relates to Taurus as well, you see. Numerology is the Hierophant and Temperance of five. There it is. They're married. Okay. They could have Sag and Taurus in their chart somewhere. Three. Three and three. It's all kind of showing you here, Pisces. Okay. <clears throat> so this is needing or requiring divorce and settlements and going to court. 
Or if they're not, and they're not even looking at procedures of that, it just means that they're married. But they have, or you have, a, a bind between both of you here. Seeing you with him or her hurts me. King, yeah. So this is a guy. So it's kind of like seeing you with him possibly hurts me. What's the King of Pentacles? Yeah, the tower. But they're going through a divine shake-up, you see. The things in the tower is somebody that could have a lot of aggression. This male here could have a lot of built-up aggression and it's causing this avoiding, like, the conversation of, like, we're not getting on, I want a divorce, I want a separation, I'm thinking of leaving you. There is more of an avoiding the person that has the temper because they know that if they talk about it, it's going to cause some kind of, like, eruption of, like, aggression and anger going off like a skyrocket, okay? <coughs> so save your money just in case. Who's supposed to be doing that? Yeah, work hard. Decide. There's this choice of two, you see. I can't make up my mind. And what they're worrying about is I can't make up my mind is more to do with what I would do for work and finances and money and about moving and moving in and moving out. How how am I supposed to move out from this tower away from this energy that drains me? This person's probably being karmically drained by an energy. Okay, so what they're worrying about is how am I going to be able to move forward and get work and money and finances, being able to support myself. How am I going to be able to leave this person and make up this choice to be able to do it? Where would I work? If these people here work together, they actually work together, okay, in a company, because this is like working as family and as a three. So if they work in the same place, okay, they realise that, leaving their husband would be leaving their job. So they would not only lose the guy, but they would also lose the job. Possibly. So what it's saying is this, to this person, whilst you're in this situation, save your money just in case. Four of Pentacles. Because why? Because of this four here, you see. Save your money just in case because this person's not easily just going to let you go here. And it might be that you want this person to fight for you, but again, it depends on yours or their circumstances. So I can't make up my mind. Yeah. To, do you really want to be a fool and throw it all away of what you've got? Or do you want to take a chance and do you want to take a risk of being with someone that is open and willing in order to meet you halfway? Because this is, if I need to travel or I need to get out, I need to leave, physically leave. And if the person that I've got is at a distance, that's also more stress and more worry about what I can't make up my mind to do. So the fool is more of a, do you want to be a fool and throw all away what you've got? Or do you want to stay in a circumstance that you may not be emotionally fulfilled, but you are looked after financially? But what's more important, financial gain? Or happiness. So the fall. Virgo, see? Do you want to maybe, because this person could be gaslit and lied to or fear that they're going to be, you know, not loyal or or something like that, and this is more of like, I need to, I need to wait for an answer first. Okay, because I can't make up my mind. I'm looking and thinking about an answer that might come to me in time. But at this time, I just can't seem to find my way out of this darkness. Okay. Because they're karmically ill in a circumstance. So marriage. Tell me about more about marriage. Yeah, Gemini, Capricorn, possibly marriage. The Horophant, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, the chariot, like Pop Seven or Kent Sarian Energy. Okay. Um, and I think over on the join button, your overall energy for that one, the different reading I was doing you, I think you had a seven as your overall energy, Pisces. Um, so, yeah, this is divorcing and separating, but am I or not? Because this is marriage. Libra, possible two, and the Hierophant, divorcing, but working it out to do with money. But am I or not? Keep going back in, back out, back in, back out. Okay. Because this could be a husband of theirs or yours, you see. This person could be married and they keep going outside of the marriage. And they both could be doing it. Like both thinking about doing it. Because this is two. This is another card that I've got in one of these is the karmic turnaround. A lot of things that you don't see actually happening that you think is you... Because, like, if there's distrust in a commitment and a, a cheating and a lying, okay, that's both people that could possibly do that at one point because you get connections within connections. Right? So I don't know which one it is, but this person here keeps coming back into this energy looking for reconciliation but also trying to work on a marriage at the same time and as I think things are moving forward, okay, they come back and then it go through this again completely and utterly and we work it out. But is this where I need to be quite sneaky and not let this person know that I'm married, okay, that I'm already with someone, right? Because this could be gaslighting, you see. This is gaslighting. And if anybody's ever cheated in a commitment or relationship, that trust is broken, right, which is five and two. In a commitment and a relationship, seven, right? So the marriage of five here is broken. Two here, it's broken, right? So they both could be cheating on one another because if their marriage is unhappy, unhappy in a commitment and a relationship, soulmates get called in as a global energy of people meeting people to try and get them to maybe give up the circumstance that they're not happy in to go forward with something else on their path, on their calling, to make a choice and a decision of two. But I can't make up my mind whether to stay or go. Okay. But because the trust has been broken, the female and the male could both be doing it to one another and not realise. So it's kind of like biding my time, waiting to find out what happens so I have a way out that's easier for me to do so I don't have to make up my mind. I can let the male say, do it for me. And this came up as a message over on um, the join button below, <coughs> which was, if I don't do anything and I don't make up my mind and say my husband cheats on me and I catch them in the act doing so, that gives me a way out so I can then have a chance to say at court, well, they cheated on me. They went, they, you know, were unfaithful in a marriage, so I'm leaving. So you made up my mind for me, so I didn't have to do that. I caught you with him or her, so I don't have to do that. You can do it for me, which is lack of strength and courage for a person to maybe, like, do it on their own, unless they haven't just got a choice, okay, if it's involving money. So it starts to get more complicated. But at that time, they may not realise that their husband could well be cheating on them. But they may be grateful of that because then that gives me a way out. If I catch you with someone else, at least then I don't have to make my choice and I can actually then just fuck off myself, you know. But then the person would more than likely not let them go easy anyway and lie, <laughs> which is two here, you see. Lying can be true or false. Okay, so hopefully you like this new deck of mine. Eventually, once I get them all uh, printed out and the way that I want them to be, um, I may consider selling a few, okay? Uh, depending if you want it, let me know, okay? Um, but, yeah, there's a lot to go through that's, like, 
all to do with solicitors and stuff like that in order to get it patterned and, and, and everything else and then made and copyrighted and God knows what else. So I've got a little bit of work to do, but eventually it will happen. Uh, if you want to help and you want to join me over on the join button below, you get different readings over there. Okay, so they are always over there, Pisces. So we normally look at things like how do they think, how do they feel, blah, 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 so on and so forth. And we go for all those kind of messages and then uh, messages from your person and things like that. Okay, what they would like to say to you and things. So if you want that and you want to help me out, it's only $4 in order for you to do so. If you want to reach out for a personal reading where I am offering when I am free because I have work as well. So I'm offering on my Facebook cheap half price readings, half price. But that means that I will post it up on Facebook. I'll probably put all of the people I know in a group of Messenger, message you all at once and say, okay, I'm offering a reading at this price today for the next four hours. If you want one, please respond, okay? And then you get it half price. And then you can ask me whatever you like. I record the reading, Bosh, there, or you can reach out and ask me how much because you can also talk to me as well. But you need to be on my Facebook. If you want to know how, I'll probably put it in the description if I remember okay permanently if i don't it's on the discussion page okay and then just find me over there and send me a message okay so thanks very much guys really appreciate it and i'll see you soon